Hong Kong's waters can no longer sustain one of its oldest professions, being a fisherman on the sea. Chung Tak Sing and his wife have been fishing in the waters off Tai O for four decades. After years of overfishing, much of the native fish in Hong Kong's waters have gone. The Aberdeen fish market is bustling from the small hours of the morning. But these days, more than 90% of this seafood is brought into the city from other countries. Reef fish, tropical species that live in coral ecosystems. These species used to be abundant in Hong Kong, but not anymore. Some fish, like the Saba garupa, are artificial species that have been bred in a lab to grow to a larger size. One of the groupers we're seeing is um, the square tail coral grouper. And this is interesting because this grouper is one of the globally threatened species. Then they come in by sea, by airport, because of the um, very good efficient transportation system in Hong Kong. It is easy for them to get the fish into Hong Kong. The live reef fish trade is worth over a billion dollars a year globally, but is largely unregulated. In addition to satisfying the demands of its own residents, Hong Kong acts as a major hub for trade in live reef fish for sale to other countries. So a lot of people don't realize that every fish in a tank in a restaurant in Hong Kong derives from a reef. Most of the live reef fish will be coming in volume from Indonesia because they're the biggest ocean territory in the world. Certification on packaged seafood, which is frozen or prepared, that mostly is coming from Western markets. But reef fish have almost zero uh, certification guidelines. Uh, some of that is illegal. Many in the city are aware of the problems and are trying to do their bit. In an upscale seafood restaurant in Sai Ying Pun, Chef David Lai is trying to find a way to cook sustainably. He says he has to rely on his own instincts and experience when choosing what to buy. These uh, yellow palm prints are found. Sort of, you have to be come to the market long enough, then you sort of know that they, they are. These are local. The bigger ones here can be from Thailand. Usually go look for what the old ladies buy, the housewife, the older generation, they know what's in season. In its heyday, Hong Kong supported as many as 50,000 fishermen, and the waters around the city could easily supply the city's restaurants and kitchens. Trawling has been banned in the territory since 2012, a decision that was welcomed by environmental groups who say it should lead to a slow recovery of fish stocks. For trawling men, it does pose a positive impact to the recovery of fishery resources because for the ban of trawling in 2012, the Hong Kong uh, fishery stock actually was close to collapse. In Hong Kong, I really think that for the fishermen, the constraints they face the most is illegal fishing. Because even uh, the fishery resources got recovered, a lot of illegal uh, fishers, uh, they would try to go to the protected area during the night time when the patrol effort was not too great and they really caught away a lot of uh, fish catch. While environmentalists hope the fish will one day come back, it's not happening fast enough for local fishermen. Cheung and his wife have so far only caught this small pile of Chinese herring, as they continue to ply their trade in the waters as they've done for decades. <laughs>